生。United by Music. 和乐图 This image is attributed to Zhu Wenjiu, 周围的举 who lived in the 10th century. The image is divided into two events. On the left side, we see the aristocrat with his entourage as listeners, and on the right side, we see an all-female ensemble as an imperial or aristocratic orchestra. Such instruments accurately represent those played by the Mid Tang Dynasty. The musicians are divided into two groups, each with the same instruments. Only the large drum exists only once. Each musician group has a shang player. A palace concert. 宫乐图 In this silk painting, there are ten or nine court ladies drinking tea and wine. Three or two maids, and a small dog under the table. One maid and four ladies are playing instruments: clapper, shang, gikin, pipa, and billy. The artist and the exact year of the painting are unknown. The fashion and customs indicate the late Tang Dynasty. Representation of a musical ensemble from the Song Dynasty. Funeral procession, Qianlong period. Servant girl playing the sheng. Qing, 改旗，吹笙使女徒。Sheng in Taoism. The eighty-seven immortals, or procession of Taoist immortals. 八十七神仙卷 Attributed to Wu Daozi, Tang Dynasty. Wu Daozi. It is a sketch on silk for a fresco painting where a Taoist pilgrimage procession is presented. In the middle of the procession. You can see a music orchestra. Fenghuang is a mythical Asian bird, the ruler of birds. He appears at great harmony and peace. Fenghuang is very often confused with the Greek phoenix. Two variations of a woman sitting on the Fenghuang bird and playing sheng.
The woman probably represents a Xiangu, He Xiangu, a Chinese mythological figure, and one of the eight immortals in the Taoist pantheon. He Xiangu is depicted holding a lotus flower, flower basket or peach, sometimes with the musical instrument Xing, or with Feng Yuan as accompaniment. Image description, a man plays a harmonica while a phoenix flies above him. Shaoxi, a famous flute player from the Chinese Qin dynasty, is said to have played so beautifully, the phoenixes flew from the sky to listen to him. Sheng and Feng Yuan are very closely connected mythologically, and historically. How exactly this connection has emerged, will be a separate part of the Sheng series, stay curious. The Immortal Who Riding a Crane The picture shows Wang Ziqiao riding on a white crane and blowing on a Sheng. A mythology from Taoism about a prince from the Eastern Zhu dynasty, who did not accept his destiny, he achieved immortality, with the pseudium of Tao. In a tomb from the Southern Dynasty period, was found on portrait stones an engraving of Wang blowing the Sheng. The stone shows Wang playing the Sheng so beautifully, that he attracts the Feng Wang. On the right side, is Fu Qiaogong, who takes Wang Ziqiao to teach him the way of immortality. Thirty years later Wang is seen again on Mount Gaoshi, riding a white crane and playing the Sheng. Whether Buddhism, Taoism or Confucianism, aristocracy, court music or mythology. As you can see from these pictures, Sheng music is very popular in all areas, from the Zhu dynasty, to the Tang and Song dynasty. Sheng. Thank you for your time.